with sirens and suffering and many on the edge of death. Vancouver's downtown east side feels like a conflict zone. Thank you. Thank you. And you can just kind of just try and give me a little something. Drug overdoses are happening constantly. I want you to pay attention to me. Hey, do you see the orange gloves? There we go. We saw the blink. There we go. Here a man gets pulled back from a near OD thanks to the quick intervention. Here we go. Look at them eyes blinking. Of fellow and former addicts such as Laura Shaver. People were prescribed the medication they needed or were given the proper services, maybe they wouldn't be here in the first place. You okay, man? Yeah? Shaver works alongside volunteers at one of several so-called pop-up safe injection tents. The only legal safe injection site in sight is overflowing, so setting up illegal ones is what it's come to. This heroin that's out now is so fast and so strong that they don't have time to call for help. There's no time to call for help. So that's why these things are really important right now. By midday, the volunteers needed a break, but just minutes after they left, Come on, Come on. a woman overdosed just around the corner. A shot of naloxone from a paramedic came just in time to save her. Come on, do that. Big breath, big breath. Good job. Good job. For first responders, the work is unrelenting. It's all overdoses. We don't know what it is. We don't know what the medication is. It's either fentanyl, carfentanil, heroin, whatever, but this is our 12th today. At one of the pop-up sites, we found Roy Archie about to inject heroin. How do you know it's not laced with something? I don't, you know what? It's a, a roulette wheel. The pinkish hue of his drug suggests there's fentanyl in it. He knows help is close if it's too much for him. They give you a, a sense of security, a, a sense of security. But we know that there's an Arcan kit strong, we know that there's people that uh, have knowledge how to use it. In just the past five days, there have been 184 overdose cases at Vancouver hospitals, but scores of other ODs nearly die, get their shot of naloxone, and then just walk away. It's incredible that we are in this situation right now where people are dying in the street and Insight is completely packed. So far, 622 have died of overdoses between January and October in BC, a 60% increase over last year. More legal safe injection sites are supposed to be on the way, but those take time and are controversial. So for the moment, We're gonna make you nice and comfortable, okay? it's this unauthorized effort that's making the difference. Chris Brown, CBC News, Vancouver.